Hey guys, today we are going to learn a very new topic called Edit Data Grid Component in Action Center. So this is our topic. So what is Data Grid? How you can implement this in Action Center? And what is this example is all about? You are going to learn. And this kind of a topic, you may not find it anywhere else. So we are going to bring you topics which are very, very important for your interview, for your project. So please do watch it till the end. So let's get started. Myself Rakesh, I welcome you back to Expo channel. So with that, let's get started and understand this data grid option. So first of all, data grid means data table. I'm talking about data table and I want to edit a data table within Action Center. So that is the example is all about. So now I have used a build data table. Let's click on data table. Let's remove this default one. And here in the column, I'm going to change this column to name. And here in the column to I'm going to change the name to desired email address. Okay. And I'm going to keep it as string. Let's say someone is entering his name as name uh, as Rakesh. And then he is looking for a desired email address Rakesh dot K one two three at the rate expo hub.com. Okay. So this is what he is expecting. He is looking for an email address like this. Let's say he's a new employee. Now it is highly possible that this email address might have been given to someone else. So in the action center, we, we wanted to create a workflow which will allow the admin of the action center or the user of the ad, uh, action center to verify this and he should have an option to change it also. Let's say one, two, three is not possible, but one, two, three, four is possible or one, two, four is possible. So he wants to provide a different option and he needs to approve that. So this goes with any kind of a data which is which goes to the action center in a data table format and you would like to modify something. So this particular workflow is going to help you to understand how you can modify a data table within the action center and that data whatever the modified data should flow back to your studio. It should flow back to your workflow. So how to do that? I'm going to teach you. So first we have built the data table. So let's go through the entire example. What I'm uh, what I'm going to demonstrate, it will be very, very clear. So first we have, what we have done, we have simply built a table and we have provided a default value to it. And then we wanted to have a output into a table. So I'm going to create a variable called my table, which is going to hold the data we have provided in the build data table activity. And then the next activity that I need is create form task. Now create form task is one of the activity which belongs to uipath.persistence.activities package. In case you do not see this activity, install the highlighted package in bold, right? uipath.persistence.activities. So once you have this activity, first thing it is asking task title. So let's give it a title edit data grid and priority I'll leave it as medium task catalog. So for the task catalog, I'll go to the action center. I'll click on this three dots admin settings and I'll go to my folder and I'm going to click on add new catalog and give it a name. So here we can give it a name like email address request form or something like that. So I have already created. I'm going to use this particular name. So what you can do, you can, if you're copying it from this particular space or the best way is to copy from here. And I'm going to my studio and I'm going to enter the task catalog name. So this is done. Next very important thing is form data. Form data, click on this three dots. And here I'm going to create an argument name table and I'm going to keep it as in and out direction. And I'm going to change the type to system.data.data table. And here I'm going to you know, transfer that variable data into create form task. So build data table, my table, right? This is the output of that build data table. I'm passing that into this particular variable called table. And I'm going to click on OK. Now, if you look at on the right hand side of create form task property panel, there is something called generate input fields. This generate input fields, if you highlight, it tells you when enabled form will be auto generated the form will be auto generated. How it will be auto generated? 
include all the fields specified in the form data so in the form data whatever arguments that you have created so as per that it is going to automatically create a form so i don't want it to automatically create anything i want to do it manually so that i have an option to design it my own way so i am unchecking this box generate input field okay so ensure you uncheck it so once you have done that click on open form designer okay now the form designer will appear something like this so hit on the basic components to minimize it go to data and then go to edit grid and drag and drop the edit grid okay so once you drag and drop the edit grid component go to the field key okay now in the field key because our variable is table right where the value is coming to the variable the argument called table so i'm going to mention the table argument over here and hit on save okay after that i'm going to go to the basic components and go to the text field and i'm going to drag and drop the text field into the data grid okay so the first one is name and the second one the second text field is desired email address so i'm going to change it to desired email address okay okay here very very important thing that you need to remember for the data grid what we have done we went here at uh, the moment we dragged and dropped it showed shown as this form and the field key we have provided table similar way for the name right if you go to the name and hit on this particular option go to the field key and in the field key the property name say it is written name which is in lower case has to be exactly matching with the data table column name okay this is you need to ensure so for that what i'm going to do let's save it and let's go to the data table many people will make mistake over there and they will find why it is not working so this is one of the very important point that one should remember so let's close this and go to data table okay this should exactly match with this one so what i'm going to do copy this and use a notepad probably and i can or you can type it but it is best to copy paste okay done and the second one is this okay check how exactly it is written copy that and go to this one and paste it okay and the same two variables we need it so let's go back to our form designer open form designer and in this we'll go to the name field go to the field key of the name and going to change it to name and save it and the same one for the desired email address go over here go to the field key and exactly how you have written paste it over here see there was a change so exactly you should keep the field key as per the column that you have created in the table done so once this is done i am going to save it so let's close this go back to the studio so here our form is designed let's create a task object control plus k and i'm going to say form task okay the object name is form task and once this is all created the next thing what i need is i should be able to see if you know once the task is created let's use a wait for form task activity okay and let's provide the input so here the input is form task even the output will remain as form task and the action we will create a variable task action okay so everything is created so it is going to create a form task and then it is going to wait for the form task now once it it waits for the form task let's see how it is appearing okay let's run it first okay so build data table create form task so the form task 149 okay it has been created and now it is waiting so if you go back to your um, action center page so what what has happened the build data table is created and now it has created a form task now look at the form task so the form task has got name and desired email address so under the name you have rakesh kumar 
as we have built in the data table and under the desired email address we have the desired email address given so if you assign it to self what is happening here it is helping you to edit it so if i am an admin i, I will say okay one two three is not available but one to four is available and i'm going to save it and i'm going to submit it so the moment i submit it this particular data has been approved by me with one to four email address and that it should come back to this workflow so i should be able to use it in some way so if you resume it okay so let's do something so that i can pull those data out and see if the changed email address is appearing in my workflow or not okay so for that all i'm going to do is i'm going to say output data table activity and after this so which i am going to use the uh, my table in out right the, we have created an argument called in out you remember here we have created in out so i am using my table or table whatever you want to use doesn't matter so here i am using my table and output text control plus k i am going to create my table text okay and i want to see that as a output so let's use it as a output message box and i am going to say my table text okay output of this one so everything is created now let's see if i am able to see the output what the admin has changed inside my workflow so let's run it again okay create form task executing okay id 150 is created now it is waiting for form task so let's go back to action center go to unassigned tab and you can see 150 is created i'm going to assign it to self and i'm going to go to the pending tab and here you see i have the option if i'm an admin i have the option to change it so i'm going to change it and i'm going to make it to let's say one to four is also not available or one to three is also not available but rakesh kumar is available let's say okay so here i'm going to hit on save and i'm going to hit on submit and complete okay so wh whatever i have approved it it should come back to my workflow so if i resume this workflow let's see what output we are getting okay name rakesh kumar and the desired email address so whatever the admin has approved it is coming right so this is what i want to show you how do you edit a data grid and how do you get the changed values from the action center into your workflow so this is very very important if you are building a project there will be scenarios where you would have to you know implement this particular workflow the way i have done it so thank you so much guys for watching it and we are going to come up with more such interesting and conceptual videos which you may not find it elsewhere thank you so much for connecting with expo hub channel please do share and subscribe and give it a like to all our videos that you are watching thank you so much we'll meet again in the next video bye bye